Okay, let's uh, look at the solution for the binary search tree problem I asked in the quiz. I wanted you to draw a binary search tree for the following sorted array which is given these are the keys and these are the index values from 0 to 9. Okay, so to start with what is your uh, let me undo this. Okay, so to start with this is your left index which I color in yellow, the right index I color something like this. So your middle index is going to be 0 plus 9 over 2. 0 plus 9 over 2 is going to be 9 over 2, right? 9 over 2 is what? <coughs> 4.5 and it's you're taking going to take a floor of it so that is 4 so this is your middle index so that's why 32 is your root so now if you want to draw the left subtree we have to make your move the right index to the left of 32 which is at index 3 now so the left index at 0 right index at 3 so it is going to be like computing what 0 plus 3 over 2 so that's going to be 3 over 2 which is 1 right you're going to um, so then what you do <coughs> so 1 is um, key 10 right so your right index if you want to so basically to the left of this it's only four so automatically this is your left child so now you want to move to the right so make this your left index right the right of 10 so this is your left index and this was this is this was your originally the right index so it's going to be 2 plus 3 over 2 which is 2 so that's why the middle index is 18 you don't have anything to the left of 18 right so then this is the only node left so to the right of 18 you have 25 okay so now let's go to the right side so right of 44 is this index so that is index 5 that is the left index now and the right index is now going to be a 9 so 5 plus 9 over 2 is 14 over 2 which is 7 so 78 is the root for this subtree so if you want to go to the left uh, make this your right index so 5 plus 6 over 2 is going to be 11 over 2 which is 5 so that's why this is the root 45 there's nothing to the left of this so the right you get 65 and the right of 78 is 8 and 9 so it mean it is equivalent to now computing what 8 plus 9 over 2 so 8 plus 9 over 2 is 8 that is your 85 there's nothing to the left of 85 so to the right you have 90 okay so this is your binary search tree now for a successful key search, uh, so these are your 10 keys, right, these 10 keys. So if you want to search for 4, it is less than 32, so one comparison right here, and then uh, less than 10, so another comparison, and then is equal to 4, so 3 comparisons. So similarly, if you want to search for 10, one comparison with 32, another comparison with 10 itself, so 2 comparisons for 18 three comparisons 25 1 2 3 4 comparisons and so on so 32 1 comparison 45 3 comparisons 65 4 comparisons 78 2 comparisons 85 3 comparisons 90 4 comparisons so the average number of key comparisons for a successful search is add up all this number of comparisons and divide by the number of keys so if you add up all this 3 plus 2 plus 3 and so on up to 4 it's 29 or 10 is 2.9 so this is the average number of key comparisons for successful search now we want to find uh, so this is what I asked for the quiz up to this point if you write you'll get all the points if you write correctly uh, if you wrote correctly now for unsuccessful search which I could ask in a big exam how would you do that um, so you need to know 
the range of values which are not among this key so there are only 10 keys here so everything else is if you search if you search for anything else uh, uh, other than those 10 keys here that will be an unsuccessful search so the range of values would be if you just look at the keys over here right 4 10 18 25 so anything less than 4 is one range anything between 4 and 10 greater than 4 and less than 10 is another range greater than 10 less than 18 is another one and so on between 18 to 25 25 to 32 and so on between 85 to 90 and then greater than 90 so you have totally how many ranges uh, if you count this 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 ranges so now you want to find out how many key comparisons would you do to search for any value in each of these ranges. So let's go to the binary tree again. So if you search for something less than 4, you would do what? So let's say you search for 3, then compare with 32, less than 32, go to the right, left, less than 10, go to the left, less than 4, there's nothing over here. So you do 3 comparisons and then you decide it is not there. Similarly, between 4 and 10, you would do what? Less than, let's say you pick up, say, some 5, less than 32, move to the left, less than 10, move to the left, uh, compared with 4, greater than 4, nothing over here, so you do 3 comparisons. Between 10 and 18, so compare here, 1 comparison, 2 comparisons, then between 10 and 18, so you go to the right, so let's say it is some um, 13 or something like that it is less than 18 so you go to the left there's something over there so three comparisons now between 18 and 25 compare 32 10 18 between 18 and 25 so let's say it is uh, 22 or something so greater than 18 come here compare 25 less than 25 so move to the left nothing over there so you do four comparisons and then decide it is not there right again let me repeat it if you search for 22 22 less than 32 so one comparison move to the left 22 greater than 10 so one comparison move to the right 22 greater than 18 one comparison move to the right 22 less than 25 so one comparison move to the left so four comparisons you would be able to decide 22 is not there between 25 and 32 1 2 3 4 so let's say if you search for 30 after coming here you compare with 25 30 is greater than 25 so move to the right nothing is there so that's why four comparisons between 32 and 45 1 2 3 32 and 45 let's say it is 35 less than uh, to the left of 45 don't have anything so three comparisons between 45 and 65 1 2 3 4 let's say you search for something like 50 50 is to the left of 65 should have been there nothing over there so four comparisons 65 and 78 1 2 3 4 say 70 nothing is there to the right of 70 so four comparisons 78 and 85 1 2 3 say search for 80 to the left of 80 you don't have anything so after three comparisons you can decide that then 85 to 90 let's say search for 87 1 2 3 4 comparisons because you search for 87 87 greater than 85 so move to the right now compare 87 with 90 87 is less than 90 so I move to the left and it is not there greater than 90 so let's say search for something like 92 greater than 32 move to the right greater than 78 move to the right greater than 85 move to the right greater than 90 move to the right nothing is there so after four comparisons you can check it's not there so average number of key comparisons for unsuccessful searches basically add all these key comparisons 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 and so on all these things divide by the number of ranges which is 11 so you would get something like 3.55 okay